Hello and welcome to this edition of the uh, Dean's Video Newsletter. Uh, it's wonderful to have you back again and as we promised last time, we're going to talk a little bit about what we're doing on the international front uh, and with respect to our globalization. These are two areas that are not only signature areas for the university, areas that the president of our university has made very clear that he'd like to see us expand in, but as a school, and particularly as a medical and dental school, where implications for us sending students into other parts of the world are a little different than other faculties, this is actually a very important area for our work. People ask the question about, so why is this so important to us? Why as a school would it be important that we travel the world or that we have a representation in specific areas? Or, well, it is because we are a school of medicine and dentistry, because we are an education facility and we have such a focus on research, that we have to look beyond our borders. And we have to understand that there are other areas of the world that we can learn a great deal from, uh, and that our researchers and educators and our students can benefit tremendously uh, if we establish linkages that are truly meaningful. So right off the bat, it may not be more than four or five areas of the world that we have a very defined imprint. China, for instance. You know, China's a massive country, right? There are multiple things. We could spend the rest of my career just figuring out what we're going to do within China, but we're not going to do that. We have a great relationship that's been established largely by the work of John Denstead and the Sea Star organization initially, building on the simulation and the education components at the West China Hospital in Chengdu. That has led to a real growth in our relationship there so that we now have dual PhD students. We have residents from within our surgical training programs spending time in West China Hospital. We want to expand on that. So in April, uh, we're going to be sending uh, quite a contingent from uh, Shulik across. There'll be eight of us uh, going, but from psychiatry to pharmacology uh, to family practice to surgery to neurology and the neurosciences, uh, from our education platforms, we're actually going across to an incredible working week where we're going to be sitting down and asking the more difficult questions about if we share programs, if we look at joint trainees, what does that mean? What are the resources that are required? What are the things that we can hope to gain uh, for a school and what can we deliver and meaningfully deliver to their schools? So that's coming forward uh, with that. That's actually part of a larger contingent uh, where there are five deans from the University of Western Ontario that are going as well. So these Western University deans are going to be focusing on curriculum development with their individual faculties. So that will include Dean Weiss uh, from Health Sciences, Dean Charmaine Dean uh, from Sciences, Dean Timney uh, from the Social Sciences Group, Dean Ian Scott uh, from Law and ourselves. Uh, and then from the engineering faculty, one of their senior members who already has a link established uh, with the uh, Chinese groups and particularly in Chengdu. So how do we move forward as a university to really partner with the Sichuan University, which is one of the top 100 in the world, one of the leading universities. So tremendous strengths there. I just returned from Brazil, where specifically we are looking to our research entities. How can we strengthen our linkages to their cancer and neurosciences? Many of you won't know this yet, uh, but there's a strong initiative between Canada and Brazil on the federal level to develop a stronger linkages on our academic grounds. We want to be there early on and move forward with that. So we'll be doing that there as well. There are two, other three, two or three other areas in the world where we'll be looking at this, but when we're done, that's what it'll be. Many of you traditionally know about our imprint in Africa. That's not going to change other than to grow. There are lots of opportunities there that we can move forward on our public health, on our environmental toxicology, uh, on the development of their medical training programs. Uh, and we'll talk about that at some point in the future again, because that in, in itself is historically something we've done well and we need to see grow. So from a school's point of view, this is an incredibly important initiative for us. It is something that we're going to be increasingly resourcing. That's something that you're going to be hearing about. As we always do, we talk about what are the opportunities for you as you're watching this. Well, if you're faculty members and you know of linkages that are there, let us know. Right? There's, there's nothing worse than getting across to a site and finding out that, oh my God, we've actually had a program here for 10 years and it's functioning really well. Uh, I'd like to know before I get there so that I can help in any way at all uh, to ensure that we strengthen that. So right off the bat, if you're a student, you know, lots and lots of opportunities, partake of them. The issues with regards to safety and the pre-departure, those are being designed for you. Uh, so make sure you get use of those. From our, our donors, from our alumni, uh, again, we have a lot of alumni around the world that are heavily involved in many of these centers. So if, if you happen to see one or we're going off and traveling out, don't hesitate to drop us a line or give me an email and say, do you realize that I have this set up there? I'd love to link you up with that. I'd love to hear about that as well. 
And if you're looking to support any of our student scholarships as we help fund them travel to other, again, lots of opportunity there for that. Finally, I'm just going to highlight that we have an event coming up uh, later in the course of April. And this is a conference called Transcending Borders Towards Global Health. Uh, this is an international conference to which we have excellent speakers. We're just going to send you to the website and have a look at all of that. Uh, it's going to be for several days here. Uh, it's going to be hosted uh, by our Global Health Office. A lot of work has gone into that. Uh, and it is addressing issues of global health. Part of the year that we're really doing to try and center the school around this issue of globalization and internationalization. And on the very final piece that I'm going to tell you about all of that, keep an eye on our website with regards to our homecoming evening. Remember we do on each Friday evening of the homecoming weekend, uh, we do a celebration of the school. This year it's going to focus on what we're doing on a global health pattern. Uh, so I look forward to seeing you. There are lots more information coming on that. So I'll see you uh, again shortly on our next uh, video newsletter. Take care.